Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the garments that I sold for quarter two of 2023. I made eight pieces and I'm just going to tell you right now, they're all cute. They are fabulous. I love every single one of them and I hope you will too. Now, while you're watching the video, if you see something that you'd like, make sure that you look in the description box below this video because I have linked to the blog post that I wrote for each item so that you can get all the details. In the blog post, I include the pattern information, the fabric information, the alterations if I've made any, and the notions. And of course, there are more pictures with different views of the garment, including the inside. I love to show the inside of the garment um, because I like for my insides to be just as pretty as the outside. So if, if there's a lining, you'll get to see the lining. If not, you get to see the seams. So all of that, is included in the blog post. So click the links in the description box below the video. Let's jump right into it. Let's start with this beautiful combo. It's a wool coat and trousers. And this is a total Audrey Hepburn vibe. I love the look. The pattern is Know Me 2001 by Beauty J'adore. That's Nikki for those of you who don't know her. And I fell in love with the pattern the moment I laid eyes on it because of that oversized notched collar. Oh my gosh, it is so stylish. And I love the way it looks when I have it flipped up, but it also looks really nice when you wear it flat, as you can see in this photo. The coat, as I said, it's oversized, so it goes nicely over bulky clothes. And I love that it has a tie belt instead of buttons. The trousers are classic trousers with pockets, and I used a ponty knit to make them. The coat is fully lined, and both pieces are available in the pattern. Next is this beautiful wrap shirt dress that I made using McCall's 8286. And I am in love with this dress. It's the fabric for me. The fabric made the dress. It's a printed poly charmeuse that I ordered from Fabrics and Fabrics, and it is absolutely perfect for this dress. Now, before any of you go rushing to my comments to tell me that the back pattern placement is horrible, I already know. People already pointed it out to me when I posted in social media, but I totally missed that. And I'm usually pretty good with pattern placement, but I missed that one. Anyway, I fixed it, but I still don't like it. So I just wear the sash, the tie to the back. But yeah, this is gorgeous. You can get all the details in my blog post, but I'm in love with this dress. Absolutely beautiful and classy. This next one is a sleeveless maxi dress that I made using Berta 6414. I actually made this one twice because after I made it the first time, I decided to do a sew along because it's a very basic dress that I thought would be nice for new beginners. So this one, I used a double brushed poly spandex and it's nice, but I would, I, I like it better in a more flowy fabric. So this wasn't the best fabric for this dress. Now I did make it a second time with an ITY knit and this one has more drapes. So it was a better, a better fabric for the dress for the style but I'm not a big fan of tie-dye and I don't know why I chose it <laughs> I, I it was the colors I liked the colors but it's okay it's an oversized bodice and the skirt is a straight skirt with a slit on the side and there you can see I'm dressing it up with a big floppy hat a nice purse and a pair of chunky heels or you can dress it down with a pair of flip-flops and it's nice for lots of occasions but yeah, if you're interested in the sew along, there is a link in the description box. Okay, this one. This is a coat dress. Some people call it a tuxedo dress that I made using McCall's 7997. It's fully lined and has 18 darts. Yes, you heard me correctly. 18 darts between the dress and the lining. I had to make a lot of alterations to get the fit that I wanted. And you can see all of that in the blog post linked below. I used a pink tweed fabric. I had a vision for this dress because I got invited to speak at an event and it was a women's tee. And I knew that I wanted to wear pink with my fascinator hat. So here you can see me speaking at that event. It was just amazing. Such a great experience sharing my heart with the ladies. And then afterwards I was able to talk with some of them as they came to my book table able to purchase books and to just share their hearts with me and how the message impacted them. So it was fun. I got to take pictures with some of the ladies who purchased their books. It was amazing. 
And this next one is a halter maxi dress that I made using New Look 6372. And I'm not usually a big fan of halter dresses, but I've made this one in the past before and I really like it. So I decided to make it again for a special event. But I did make some alterations in the bust area and with the ties. So you can check out the details for that in the blog post that I've linked below. But I love the fit. I love the fabric. I used a lightweight ponty knit and it has a nice, you know, nice drape to it. And there you can see I'm adding a chain link belt. So if you like to wear your garments belted, there you go. And I think this one looks really nice dressed up or dressed down. You can wear it with a pair of flip flops and a big floppy hat for a more casual vibe. And I made this one for a retreat that I went to in Florida. So we had a great time. And here you can see me with Patrice Washington, my coach, and then my other girlfriends from the retreat. Here is my prayer partner. We had a wonderful time. And the final project for quarter two is this sleeveless red dress. And oh my gosh. It's too good for words. <laughs> this is my second version of McCall 7997. So when I picked up the pink tweed fabric for the long sleeve version, I knew that I wanted to make the sleeveless one in red. So I picked up this fabric at the same time and it's a ponty knit, it's mid-weight, so it's perfect for this dress and it's a winner. This pattern is a winner. Check out the blog post. Well, that's it for today. Those are the eight garments that I sold for quarter two of 2023. And I'm very curious to know, what do you think? Which one was your favorite or which two or three? Whenever I ask that question, a lot of people always say, I can't pick one. <laughs> so which ones were your favorite? Which one, is, is there anything that you would actually sew for yourself and wear? Let me know in the comments below what you think. I love to engage with you guys. And if you are not part of my private email community, make sure that you tap the link in the description box below to join the community. Because I, whenever I sew something new, I do write a blog post and I'll shoot out the information to my people on my private email community and then you can go over there and see everything in advance you don't have to wait until the end of the quarter to see what I've sewn so tap the link below and thank you for watching hit that like button if you liked this video I'll see you guys next time bye you've been inspired you've been encouraged you've watched other women sew their own garments and you've said to yourself I want to learn how to sew. Who's going to teach me? Well, I have exactly what you need. An online sewing course called Learn to Sew, Mastering the Basics, where I teach you, the new beginner, the person who has never even touched a sewing machine before, how to sew your own garments. And what's special about my course is I take you from beginning to end, start to finish, step by step with lots of details so that you don't get lost in the process. In this course, I teach you what type of needle to use based on your fabric choice. You will learn how to use the different cutting tools for your projects and how to sew a proper stitch based on the fabric that you're using. We take you into the fabric store and show you how to choose your fabrics and what happens at the cutting table when you purchase your fabric. You will learn how to lay out your pattern pieces onto your fabric and how to cut into that fabric for success. And of course, we show you how to use a sewing machine from beginning to end. This and so much more is waiting for you inside of my course, Learn to Sew, Mastering the Basics. Tap the link in the description box to get started.